Hey, 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 it's Mama J. What's rocking? What's rolling? We're going through more cassettes. <laughs> Again, I left off. We had only done one row. I have two of these boxes. That's why I'm breaking the videos down. Are we blurry? Are we good? Okay. We're checking them out, telling you a little story if something comes to mind. It's getting deeper. Set it right here on the floor. I still can't see in because the way they're in there. Just gotta get the first one out because they're so tight. All right, first one. Ah, Guns N' Roses, the spaghetti incident. Um, <laughs> since I don't have you, New Rose, uh, you can't put your arms around a memory. I don't care about you. You know, obviously, they'll never meet Appetite with Destruction's uh, popularity. But this was another album. I did see Guns N' Roses one time, one time only, in Vegas. Uh, I went with Spectre's father. Spectre was still a baby, wasn't even a year old yet. We left him with my parents. We went to Vegas to see Guns N' Roses. Queensryche opened for them. Queensryche came on, they were really good. And then we waited. And we waited. And then Axl Rose decided to show up around midnight. And at that point in time, and then when he came on, he sounded like shit. I will take nothing away. Appetite for Destruction, one of the best albums made in history. I will say that again and again. I don't care if you agree with me or don't agree with me. But Axl and his God Theory, in my opinion, is what kind of destroyed Guns N' Roses. They never became as big as they should have. But it happens. We've seen it happen with other bands. Anyways, the spaghetti incident. All right. Again, like I said, I, I boxed these away. If you didn't watch the first video, I boxed these away before I even moved in here over 15 years ago. I don't remember what cassettes are in these boxes. Obviously, who listens to cassettes anymore? I know there's a few of you. I collect albums. All right, so this one, oh, we had one of these last time, not this one, but White Snake. Oh, no, we had White Line, not White Snake. This is White Snake with David Coverdale. Tawny Katane was his girlfriend. She did a lot of the videos, pulling around on the car. Uh, sadly, she has passed on. Uh, give me all your love. Is this love? Children of the night. Straight from the heart. Don't turn away. Bad boy. Still of the night. Here I go again. Crying in the rain. Another album full of hits, or at least 80s metal hits. White Snake, um, I did see them in concert. It was like a group concert. I think there were three or four bands playing, but I did get to see them play. All right, let's go to the next one. Rush. I'm not a huge Rush fan, I'll be bluntly honest. I do like Rush. I'm going to assume, honestly, this is probably my dad's cassette. Uh, you Bet Your Life, Ghost of a Chance, Where's My Thing, Roll the Bows, Dreamline. Uh, but it is Rush. I have never seen Rush in concert, ironically. But, you know, I mean, they've been around a long time. Obviously, they're a good band, right? All right, next. Ah, oh, here we go. Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion, Part 1. And I say part one because this is a two-parter. This was a cassette tape that came in two parts. And at some point, I must have had something taped on here. 15 years, and that shit's still sticky. Anyways, this is, here's your illusion. And look at there. Little tiny lyrics for the superhero with the great eyes. Roses. This was back. Uh, nope. Steven was already on it this time. But this is Use Your Illusion. I believe part two has a. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it covers blue. Now, I did lose one of these out of car window once. <laughs> it was on the dash, and we went around a, a curve going onto the freeway, and it flew out the window. <laughs> Um, it was just the case, but back then I was very anal about my cases and my cassettes, so I know I had rebought it just to get the case. Um, but I don't remember which of it was part one or part two, but I remember it was Use Your Illusion. 
All right, so that's part one. Let's see. I'm sure part two's in here somewhere. Oh. Okay. Um, maybe I didn't buy another one. All right, well, I'm not really sure. But... And actually, Use Your Illusion 2 is in here. So maybe I didn't replace it again. This was back 30-something years ago when that happened. Two of them, but one has Use Your Illusion 1 and one has Use Your Illusion 2. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Obviously, I've seen Guns N' Roses in concert. Ooh, Cheryl Crow. Love Cheryl Crow. Maybe Angel Home. Hard to Make a Stand. Love is a Good Thing. I'll tell you a story about Cheryl Crow. When Cheryl Crow came out many, many moons ago, I'm talking this is probably like in the 80s, when my parents went to see Cheryl Crow in concert, and I remember they had went to, it was a smaller place, and my mom had made a comment to my dad about, wow, there's a lot of women here. Why are there so many women at her show and hardly any men? And uh, my, I mean, there were men. My dad was there and a few other guys. She came out, and all the women started to catcall her. My parents had no idea that she played for her own team. And not that they cared, but it kind of threw them for a loop because they weren't aware. <laughs> but anyway, Cheryl Crow, who I've never seen in concert. Um, next one. Ooh, Mr. Now this was a solo album. This is John Bon Jovi, not Bon Jovi. And this was Destination Anywhere. He did a whole thing on this some videos for this obviously you know back in the day when videos existed I think videos still exist just not like they used to obviously we have the lyrics for those with the really good eyes and on this side we have Mr. John Bon Jovi I love John Bon Jovi anybody who really knows me knows that I have been a huge Bon Jovi fan since the day I laid eyes on him in 1983. Yes, I remember. He's how I picked my football team. He's everything. Now, obviously, I have seen Bon Jovi in concert many, many, many times. I will tell you this. I went to see John Bon Jovi solo, one time only. He was performing. We bought tickets. I worked that day, I came home from work, got ready, and went to my mom's because she was going with me. My mother loves the same type of music I do. We got together, we went to the arena. As we got there, I'm thinking, wow, ain't nobody here, are we early? Did it not sell out? It's like dead. We pull up and we're like, okay, something's wrong here. So we pulled to the front, like where you would get, like if you were doing roll call or whatever, roll call, whatever it's called. And you pick your tickets up there. Um, which we don't usually do, but we pulled up there and I seen a sign, so I got out and I read the sign. Due to lack of sales, they canceled his concert. I thought that was funny because Richie Sambora also had the same issues. When they tried to do solo, they didn't succeed. As a band, they rocked this one. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, we got a, oh, again. The Troubles of Cassette. See that? Always broken. This is Bon Jovi. New Jersey. Look at Dave. New Jersey. Um, probably not watching. But either way, uh, lyrics for those with good eyes. Sexy members of the band. Sadly, we have said goodbye to... Right, oops. Right here, Mr. Alec Jones Such passed away last year. Rest in peace, my friend. It's so sad to see him go. He was already out of the band, but um, still an original member, and it was sad to see him go. This is uh, Lay Your Hands on Me, Bad Medicine, Born to Be My Baby, Living in Sin. Uh, wild in the wind, ride cowboy ride, stick to your guns, I'll be there for you, 99 in the shade, love for sale. This is a great album, great album, great, great album. Yeah, this was a great album, I loved that album. But back in the 80s, Bon Jovi was my favorite band. Uh, 
Oh! <laughs> now this band might be one that you've never heard of. Jafaria. Jafaria, I want to say they're German. I could be wrong. Silk and Steel. They were pretty good. They just never got huge. Radio, Heartache, Lethal Lover, No Escape, Love You Forever, I Must Be Dreaming. I really liked them. They just never... They just never became a big band. Um, nothing on this inside. Just putting members of the band. Like I said, I think they were from Germany. Greg Jafaria was the keyboard player. I don't know a lot about the band. I've never seen them. I did have a couple of different recordings by them, but I've never seen them in concert. But they were good. Jafaria. All right, next one. Alice Cooper, love it to death. Uh, this is Alice. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here. Yeah, a lot of these were just like song cassettes. There were no lyrics, no anything. Um, I'm 18, long way to go. Black Juju. Hollowed be my name. Second coming, Ballad of Dwight Fry. That's a pretty good song. Um, anyways, Alice Cooper, love it to death. Love him to death. Alright, let's see. Got quite a few here. Oh! <laughs> now we're gonna. Alright, uh, ready for the world. That's right, ready for the world. Tonight, digital display, ceramic girl, oh, Sheila, uh, human toy, slide over, out of town lover. I loved this cassette. Uh, nothing on the inside. But again, this was ready for the world. And I, I actually liked him. Next. Ooh, we got Native Tongue by Poison. Uh, again, we went over Poison. Uh, lyrics? Lyrics. No? I can't see. Yep, no, lyrics just for the... Very nice. Some awesome pictures here with the lyrics. Pretty cool. Yep. So, uh, Native Tongue, The Scream Stand, Richie's Acoustic Thing, Ain't That the Truth, Theater of Soul, uh, Poison, Great Great Band, Brett Michaels. Actually, I still follow Brett Michaels on. Instagram. Anyways, Poison, Native Tongue, that's pretty awesome. Again, how many of these have you heard of? How many of these have you seen in concert? Sorry, I'm falling over. I'm just trying to make sure I'm on the same level here. Oh! Slaughter. Wow, Slaughter. Stick to, stick it to you. Slaughter, wow. Eye to eye, mad about you, that's not enough. Up all night, up all night. That was the big hit off there. Uh, Slaughter. Mark Slaughter was the lead singer. Uh, we did get lyrics. Again, real tiny words. And then, here's the picture of the band. And this one right here is Mr. Mark Slaughter, the singer. All that. Beautiful hair on those boys. <laughs> That's what I like. All right. Wow, this these just bring back so many memories. Holy crap! All right, next cassette. I keep getting blurry, probably because I keep rocking and moving. Oh, this one. Sun damage. See how it kind of wilted a little. And this actually, I believe. This is Chicago's Greatest Hits. Does anybody really want? Time it is. Color My World, Just You and Me, Saturday in the Park. Feeling Stronger Every Day. I'm sure no lyrics, let's see. Nope, just blank on the inside, but this is Chicago. Are you Chicago? Do you know who they are? I'm gonna guess again, this is probably, this is more like what my dad would listen to, but I listened to it also. So that might have been his. Next one. Mm, Jafaria. We talked about them earlier. 
It's another um, one by them. Do me right, call to the heart, don't tear me down, dance, turn me on. Line of fire, out of the blue. Uh, no lyrics, just a simple plain cover. This is Jafaria. Again, I didn't see them. I haven't seen Chicago either. Next one. Ooh, seen them. Skid Row. This has got a youth gun wild. Big gun, sweet little sister. Can't stand the hurry. Pieces of me, 18 and light. Rattlesnakes uh, shake. You've gone wild. Here I am, making a mess. I remember you. Um, Skid Row was found by Bon Jovi. I've seen Skid Row multiple times in concert. Uh, lyrics, no great picture of the band, but they are there. You can't really see them. But the dude right here is the lead singer. His name is Sebastian Bach, and he actually played for... Um, a season or two on Gilmore Girls uh, as a regular. <laughs> um, anyways, Skid Row. Great. I loved this. Skid Row, yep. Seen them many times. Ooh, Tesla, not the car. The band. Tesla. Uh, Tesla, five man orchestra jam. Uh, coming at you live, trucking, Heaven's Trail. Paradise, Lodi, Mother's Little Helper, Love Song, Signs, 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 Everywhere There's Signs, Locking Out the Scenery. Um, I'm sure everybody knows that song. No real lyrics, just some info. And some photos. Tesla, I've never seen in concert either. Signs is a remake that they, I believe, are not the original song. Alright, got a couple more for this one. Ooh, Alice Cooper. Hey, stupid. Uh, Alice, let's see. This one does have some stuff on the inside. Alice had to become a little more mainstream. <laughs> uh, so words. Mr. Alice Cooper himself. Love, love, love Alice. I've met Al Alice, and it's funny because I've met a lot of people. I say this all the time, um, but I met a lot of people. But Alice was the only person I was ever nervous about meeting. Ooh, dong! If you know, you know. Molly Crew, shout at the devil. There's Vince. Oops, Vince Neil, Mick Ma. Up, oh, Mickey Six. So Mick Mars, Tony Lee, Dong. Let's see. Um, nothing on the inside, just some info. But this is Motley Crue, Shout at the Devil, Red Hot, Too Young to Fall in Love, Knock em Dead Kid, uh, Shout at the Devil, Looks Could Kill, Bastard in the Beginning, Helter Skelter. Um, but yeah, Motley Crue. Love, love, love. Uh, in high school and even throughout, my best friend of, well, now of like 47 years, this was her big band, Molly Crew. All right, next. Ooh, the man. No rest for the wicked. Ozzy Osbourne. All right, Mr. Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, nothing. Oh, wait, maybe there is stuff on the inside. It doesn't look like it. Oh, there is. All right. Here with Ozzy. Here, pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. It's Ozzy, the best for the wicked. Uh, Devil's Daughter, Crazy Babies, Miracle Man, Bloodbath in Paradise, Fire in the Sky, Tattooed Dancer. And you have Ozzy Osbourne. I have seen Ozzy many times. And I believe one more, one more. Be it for the oh, warrant, dirty, rotten, goofy, stinking, rich. Um, this one had 32 pennies, big talk, pretty, in the sticks, heaven. Sometimes she cries. Uh, no lyrics, just some words, picture of the band. 
Janie Lane was the lead singer, and that is Janie Lane right here. We lost him a while ago. He did pass away. All right, so went through those again. Tell me what you think. Have you seen any of them? Do you own any of those cassettes? Um, again, this is only part two. There are quite a few more parts to come. All right, and we'll see you in the next one. Stick around. Check out my Patreons. Bye.